turn on the news, you go on Twitter, you see these viral videos of unarmed people being shot by police officers. I've seen the, how it's affected the community. It's time to reevaluate how we deal with crime, how we deal with punishment. There's a lot of yelling, there's a lot of arguing on, on either side, but there's not a lot of listening going on, there's not a lot of understanding got fed up with tweeting and hashtagging and just giving my opinions without really gaining an understanding of what the problems are and how to be a part of the solution. One of the things that has to be said is that we, we, no matter what we do, we need people to understand what we do and why we do it. Right. You have to be able to listen to somebody else's perspective that might not match yours. When you look at people like yourself who are leaders in the community. We need them on our side. Because God forbid, if we get involved in, in a situation where we have to shoot somebody, and we could be 100% right, but you don't have people supporting us who are leaders in the different communities that could be involved in. I, I think that is definitely a responsibility of, of leaders. If we're gonna criticize, Officers, when they do it wrong, we need to be able to acknowledge when they're doing it the right way. What I've done is researched and, and looked out there who's doing the work, who has solutions to, to make some of these things better. One of the things I came across was Superintendent Chipwood and some of the things that he was doing with this training. Officers representing police departments from across the Delaware Valley are embracing a new approach to community policing. They're taking a two-day course known as RIGHT training. It stands for Racial Intelligence Training and Engagement. The training in the racial intelligence is something that we need as, as, as police. The change has to be how you treat people. And the officers have to understand that. I, I can say this without blinking an eye. I've been there, I know what it is to do the right thing, and I know what it is to do the wrong thing. And it's all about treating people like human beings. Do you think that there has been enough outcry from the law enforcement community to really separate themselves and isolate those who are doing things the wrong way? It's important that if people, officers, do the wrong thing, then they have to pay the price. They have to pay the price, period. I'm giving them the tools. Mm -hmm. They can't say they're not getting the tools. And if they're not doing the right thing, then we have to deal with it quick. We can't, we can't let it fester and let people angry and... And it erodes the trust. It erodes the trust, right. it really does. It's time for us to start to highlight those who are doing it the right way so that we can replicate it. Too long are we pointing at the problem and not getting any solutions. Do you think this is something that can be implemented kind of nationwide, absolutely. or at least in, in everywhere a else? A absolutely. Where can I help as an, as an athlete, an influencer, to, to take what you're doing here and make that a statewide standard? Before a police officer comes on the street, they have to be certified. And the training division that does the certification, every officer in the state of Pennsylvania has to go is, is MOPEC. That's the training division. So that would be a place where I would at attempt to put resources and, at and attempt to make change. If you want to be a part of the solution, it's not easy. You have to do your part, whether that's voting, whether that's putting pressure on your elected officials, whether that's getting out there and being the positive change in your community that you want to see. It takes some action. Everybody has a, a piece in this. And when we all take ownership, you know, that's when we get real movement.